Evening all, welcome to yet another edition of DXB. Look, Lane's doing his hands already and he's got that all going on. It's a good one. Because it's going to be a special kind of episode. Why? Uh, half term just around the corner. And rather do an episode during half term about what to do over half term, we thought we'd give you a couple of days of planning, a, little day, a couple of days notice if you like. So we're focusing on what to do with kids all ages um, throughout half term, which is just around the corner. And we've got some great ideas. So what's coming up tonight? I went down to Precision Football, a wonderful facility that combines the traditional coaching methods of football and technology for the ultimate footballing experience. Mm, sounds very exciting. Uh, we also found out eco-friendly experiences are available across the region with Quest for Adventure. And Katie went down to the Emirates Lit Fest to make some noise and meet some of our favourite authors as the festival comes to an end. Mm -hmm. All that, plus we are exploring healthy 15 minute snack recipes for you and of course for the family as well. And we are bringing you a very, very special musician, Harris Hamid, who's going to be here in the studio with us. So half term special for you, we are in the midst of half term if you like, depending on what syllabus your kids are in and of course what age they are. I got half term either this week or into next week as well. Couple of guarantees for you, one guarantee, uh, you can guarantee there's going to be more tourists here, an increase in tourists, a decrease uh, in the number of cars on the roads, which is always a good thing, and an increase in a bit of stress for parents out there trying to keep their little loved ones occupied. So hopefully today we're just going to give a couple of ideas, a bit of inspiration. Yeah? yeah, I mean, I am inspired, but it does take me back to my half term days uh, because I feel not like... That kids, <laughs> not that long ago. Not that long ago. But... <laughs> I mean, a lot longer for you, Tom, a lot longer for you. Uh, but I do feel like kids nowadays have more options, whether that's outdoors or indoors for us. You know, I feel like we were limited. I mean, when we say limited, mm. uh, there was always gaming. Yeah. There was always gaming, you know what I mean? So you could always rely on that, just stick them on one of the consoles and it's all good. But here, there's so many things to do in terms of indoor and outdoor, as mm -hmm. you mentioned. You've got um, the Emirates Lit Fest, which is one of my favourite events. And that embodies so much with adults and children. So you can just stick them in a room over there, read a book and feel comfortable enough that you're doing the right thing as a parent. Yeah. It's a lot more structured entertainment now though, I think. I think that's what's re really interesting. It used to be, didn't it, just half-term camps, mm. you know, chuck the kids in a camp and that was it. Whereas now, you look at the offerings out there and we've learned a lot from socials, we've learned a lot from online, tech is playing its part as well. It's not just a question of dropping your kids off at eight o'clock in the morning, picking them up at five o'clock in the evening now. Mm. There's a lot more thinking that goes into it and some of the courses out there are extraordinary. Some of the opportunities mm. are extraordinary as well. So, yeah, I'm interested in this one. Um, uh, something for everyone. Yeah, there really is. And I mean, we definitely aren't the experts on that. So it's a good thing we have a guest co-host joining us. So let's find out who that is. Hi, I'm Roshni Kamnani. I'm the founder of Little IA. And today I'm so excited to be a guest co-host on the show. Nice one. Roshni will join us in just a little bit. But first, I went down to Precision Football. It's the new home of football in the region and it's combining traditional coaching methods with cutting edge technology. It really is good. Have a gander. Football in the region is just getting bigger and bigger. So I've come down to a facility where passion meets precision. Whatever your skill set is, this is the place for you. This is Precision Football. I'm lucky enough to seek down the man with the master plan behind Precision Football. He is the CEO. He is Sonny Cobbs. Good to see you, man. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for uh, allowing us into your fantastic facility. How did it come about? Because this is, uh, the attention to detail is so specific. Yeah. Really, it was just uh, in a snapshot is to give people the opportunity here in Dubai. I've been here for a long time, over a decade now, and to give all sorts of, of players on the, on the level of foundation level and community football to, to trying to be a professional and I felt that there was a, a bit of a gap in the market for an, an elite centre um, and make players feel um, like they're in a you know, professional environment that they would be in, in Europe or in around the world like at Real Madrid or Man United like they come here and they can almost see what the pros would do and kind of give them that confidence to go and produce on the field and I feel like we've got that. No, I, I like what you said that feeling of being free because there's a lot of people can be threatened 
and they're like, whoa, but you've created this open space for people to come in and it's kind of like a community sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, like with the, let's just take for instance the Inside Technology Centre. So you can come around, there's different sort of games and areas and zones. So you can come down and try it, even with the VR zone, it's fun and quite like a leisure tainment, you know, centre, a bit of an arcade -y for football. But also at the same time is come and get fit, test your scores, can you beat your friends, can you compete against some of the world superstars? We have like Messi, Ronaldo scores there. So that's kind of has a great balance. It's like a bit of a footballing Disneyland arcade, but then it's like a professional club that you would be, like I said, in Europe or something. So Sonny, how can people get in touch and be a part of this community? Yeah, so like I said, we're Precision Football located uh, at Even Batuta Mall. We have precisionfootball.com and that's where we have all the, the telephone numbers. Come down, check it out, get in touch and, and uh, whatever it is, like I said, whatever it is, male, female, we do three, four year olds or 60, 70 year olds. So whatever you want to do, get in touch and uh, come and see us, come and see our facility. Nice, so, so all levels. So talk about all levels. Um, yeah, it's been a while, I had not had a kick about, so I think I might give it a go, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you, uh, we'll test your skills. Let's have a look. We'll all get you on the wall in a second. Oh, mate, uh, all right, cool. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so much to look forward to throughout the show. But as we mentioned at the top of the show, our big focus here tonight is half term. It is upon us and it's a big one. Obviously, the weather is nigh on perfect for this half term. So what have we got in store? Well, our guest co-host today is an entrepreneur creating functional and personalised children's items through her e-commerce brand and site, Little. IA. Please welcome to the show uh, Roshni Kamlani Mehta, who's uh, alongside us. Roshni, great, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Kind of you to take time ahead of what is a busy time of year, I'm sure, mm -hmm. for you. Uh, we want to get onto the brand in just a few moments' time and, and, and find out a little bit more about that. Before that, before we talk about the kids, let's talk about you, <laughs> if that's all right, and your entrepreneurial journey. Yes. What got to you at this point to set up the site and the brand? So, I'm a mum of three and I had my three kids in a very, very small amount of time. I had my first in 2018, my second in 2019, and my third and final in 2021. And so a big McBrook. chunk of, mm. thank you, um, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> it's not for the faint hearted. Um, and a big part of my life during this period has been you know, motherhood, buying gifts for children. All of my friends are kind of having babies at the same time, and so, I realized very quickly when four people gifted me the same blanket. Mm. Um, literally four people gave me the exact same blanket, same color, and it had my daughter's name on it. And it was, it was so thoughtful. I was a new mom, so I was really you know, touched by this keepsake, but it was not the best quality, not something that I would typically choose to put on a newborn baby. It was made out of like polyester, it was quite rough. And that's when I realized I wanted to create a personalized brand for children that items would be eco-friendly, organic, designed by mums, and something that you can really treasure throughout your whole lifetime. Amazing. So, Roshni, would you say at that time there was a gap in the market for it? Was there, was there a yearn and a need for it? We've grown 225% in the last year, so the demand is definitely there. And last year we actually did something really cool, which was to launch Little IA Loves, which is a space on our website where we collaborate with really big international brands and personalize them exclusively on our website and really small up and coming local homegrown brands founded mostly by mums. So it's an amazing one stop shop to buy all things personalized for children and not just gifts. We're also talking everyday essentials. So you know, children lose things in nursery and school and yeah. Mm. So tell me about your collaboration with Alborari because that's one of my favorite places uh, and that it's one of those places that embodies nature and uh, the, it, the air is different there because yeah. they've got so much natural uh, plant life there. It's incredible. Tell me about that. So I was born and raised in the UK and when I moved to Dubai, there was one thing that I really, really wished for my kids was to have more nature in their life. You know, forest, farms and eight years ago when I moved, there weren't many spaces like that. And then I came across this wonderful lady called Shirin who founded Natura Tribe, which is based in Al Barari, and it is Dubai's, I believe Dubai's first, <coughs> sorry, it's Dubai's first collective, nature collective for children. And you can go as early as one years old, and it goes up to 14 years old, and now she's even launched nature activities for adults, like therapeutic nature sessions. 
And so this is a space I absolutely love to take my children. Um, I think any mother that's entertaining kids during half term agrees that you want to ditch the screens as much as possible and be out in nature, having fun. Mm. And you do things like collecting twigs, learning how to build fires, collecting flowers, learning how to make potions. It's just really going back to basics and it's and is that what, do you think, is that what children are craving at the moment? Given the fact that they, they have so much at their fingertips, you know, regardless of what age they are at the moment, there are, the opportunity is endless out there. Is there that sort of getting, that urge to get back to nature for kids? I 100% think there is. I think Dubai is a wonderland for children. Yeah. We're very lucky as parents to be based in a city where there are thousands of amazing indoor activities for children. Um, but as soon as you take a child out of a, a play area and put them into the, to the forest, they're kind of a bit lost for the first few minutes, but that attention, the focus is so different to when they're playing indoor. And it, it's wonderful. I encourage it for every parent to just get, get your child down in the soil. I mean, not only is it <laughs> great for their mind, it's great for their body. Yeah. Um, the, to be in the soil, to ground yourself, it, it's, it's lovely. So it's good for the slightly older children as well then? Mm. It's, it's yeah. brilliant. And as I said, Nat Natura Tribe do uh, sessions for kids up to the age of 14 and they do adult sessions too because she's had so much demand for it. Uh, she even does forest training, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. That doesn't give us an excuse to go around the <laughs> later on, all right? I'm sure his old eyes spark up. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, yeah. Your plans tonight are sorted. Um, Roshni, I think what you're talking about, community is so important. You know, like you said, the mums coming together. That's kind of like one of the biggest communities, I think, in Dubai, uh, where they, they feel the need, they know what's necessary for the next generation. How has your community grown with Little IA and even the brand that you had created before with your sister was a yeah. fashion brand which was available on Netta Porter but all of that culminating to this moment. Talk to me about your community. I definitely think when you become a mum, community just becomes so important because you're going through all of these, especially a new mum, you're going through all of these phases for the first time and you, you don't really necessarily have you know, a point of reference. So. I think being in a place like Dubai, where it is such an emerging city, there's so many expats, everyone's kind of looking for that connection. And as a mother, I think the community that I've managed to build from a brand based on motherhood, based on you know quality items for children has been so important to my mental health mm. also. Yeah. yeah. It's the old growing up with the help of a village, especially here yes. in, in a community driven uh, place like Dubai. Listen, you're going to stick with us for the whole show if that's okay. Happy to. Very kind of you to do that. Um, at the risk of sounding really, really silly and really, really stupid though as well, and I'm going to pluck up enough courage to ask this question before we move on. Go on. Am I the only one that, is it missed on me what IA actually stands for or not? Little IA is? Good question. So um, back in 2014, me and my two sisters founded a fashion brand called Isa Kazane. It's a contemporary knitwear brand. It is stocked um, all over the world. We're in Harrods, uh, in, in the Middle East, we're in uh, Unas, Bloomingdale's, Harvey Nichols. And when I decided to launch the spin-off company, it only made sense to kind of have some kind of tie-up with our parent company that made all of these opportunities happen for us to begin with. So we called it Little IA after Isaac Asane. Oh, there we go. That wasn't a silly yes, question. It wasn't a silly no. question. <laughs> You're okay to stay then, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'll no storming off. Or anything yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah, Roshni's going to be staying with us. Uh, but coming up, find out why choosing homemade snacks is the right fit for your family with the 15-minute mum. Plus, we are exploring outdoor activities. And of course, don't forget, we've got the music. So make sure you stay with us.